Hi, I'm Johnny Profane. I'm an autistic elder, late diagnosed, 63. Want to know what autistic life is like at 70? Joy and horror. Joy, because every day since diagnosis gets easier. Less energy spent masking, more comfort allowing myself to stim. A thousand things. I learned them all by listening to other adult autistic voices, writers, podcasters, videocasters, actually autistic folks on Twitter, Facebook, and two established resources I've come to trust. But there's horror, too. You see, I can't communicate. Not without great effort. And always pain. Either for me or someone else. I've spent a life, just one poor word choice, away from condemnation. One missed social cue, away from losing family, friends, wives. I shed friends like tears. What's weird? All the effort I put into masking was always to take care of others, to not disappoint them, hurt them, drive them away. Rehearsing every statement, trying to keep status in mind, carefully considering every tone of voice, gesture, facial expression, before opening my mouth. Not just with average citizens, pros too. Every therapist, doctor, pastor, and guru protecting their egos as I looked for help with my pain. Even within the autistic community where so many of us share similar feelings. Ultimately, always failing. Because my autistic brain went directly from point A to point B once too often with too much of my truth without carefully sidestepping all the cracks in the sidewalk and breaking the backs of relationships. But at 70, in all honesty, there's not a human on earth I could be totally myself with, seek help from, love, and not fuck up. I can honestly say the rest of my life has become a source of joy. But for this final oldest challenge I don't have a personal solution I don't have a clue maybe seven decades trying to survive autistic is too long to overcome this one maybe I'd have been happier as a monk taking the vow of silence I'll never know I only know I'm doing my best to make this not true for the next generation I want better for you.